here for University TV. Welcome to Washington and Jefferson College. It got its start back in 1781 in a little log cabin in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. Let's check it out and see what it looks like today. Washington and Jefferson is located in the city of Washington, Pennsylvania, a southwestern community situated south of Pittsburgh. If you're ready to have some fun, hop on the pipeline. Washington and Jefferson offers a van service to students that drives them straight into Pittsburgh. Hey, get on! Washington is the county seat. It's a very proud community, a very historic community that is uh, filled with tradition. I think clearly our proximity to Pittsburgh is a real advantage for the college. Wonderful cultural opportunities, great professional sports, great shopping, uh, clubs, the kinds of things I think college students take advantage of. W&J's 60-acre suburban campus includes more than 40 academic, recreational, and residential structures, comprised of mostly historic buildings with more and more modern facilities, as well as a 54-acre biological field station. Washington and Jefferson enrolls around 1,500 students, 53% male, 47% female, and 6% minority students. The student to faculty ratio is a low 12 to 1. I don't think there's a typical W&J student. That's one of the things I love about teaching here is I have so many different students from so many different backgrounds. Applicants to Washington and Jefferson College are asked to submit a personal statement, their official high school record, board scores, and a letter of recommendation from their guidance counselor. Additional letters of recommendation and extracurricular activities are also considered. We do require a personal statement or an essay as a part of the application process, and that's really an opportunity for the student to tell us something about who they are that we might not otherwise be aware of in that application. W&J charges roughly $31,000 in yearly tuition, with additional room and board fees over $8,000. Over 80% 80 of students receive assistance. W&J offers more than 20 academic majors, as well as a variety of minors, emphases, and concentrations, including entrepreneurial studies and professional writing. Some of the favorite majors among students are biology, business administration, English, and political science. Plus, W&J is internationally known for their pre-law and pre-health programs. Uh, we have a lot of very young faculty at the college right now, and it's a very exciting time to be here. Faculty are coming in, uh, they're setting up laboratories, and they're having students working in the laboratories, doing independent projects, serious work. Uh, and they're publishing. Of Washington and Jefferson's full-time faculty, more than 85% hold a terminal degree in their field. The professors are always available. They're really flexible with their office hours. I even have a few of their cell phone numbers and house numbers, which they give out freely. And then even, you know, outside of their office hours, they make themselves available. I think one of the great things is our professors eat with us in the commons, so, you know, we see them in there all the time. A lot of them live right around campus, so they'll have study sessions at their home, you know, make dinner. The W&J presidents participate in NCAA Division III athletics and offer 26 competitive opportunities in varsity sports for women and men. The presidents have won more than 30 athletic conference championships and produced 20 academic All-American athletes. W&J is also the smallest school to ever compete in the Rose Bowl. The spirit's awesome. Um, everybody goes to football games, but they don't just go to football games, they go to soccer games, they go to lacrosse. I was surprised because it is a smaller school. It's not like, you know, the bigger schools where they have, you know, everyone goes. But there is, it's a really strong supportive crowd. A lot of the faculty go every to every game. A lot of faculty um, adopt teams where they go and, you know, bring snacks for them. Washington and Jefferson can boast John Heisman of Heisman Trophy fame as one of their legendary coaches. W&J offers 31 residential facilities on campus that range from Victorian mansions to modern housing, offering everything from traditional rooms to sweet style living. Greek life here at W&J is a lot different than, you know, what you see in the movies. Uh, and like there's a really strong, you know, brotherhood and sisterhood in Greek life. They're the most active on campus. We have the highest GPA. We always see them around volunteering, doing like good stuff. And it's, uh, it's a nice thing to come into as well. You know, you really feel like you belong in something. There are more than 80 different organizations, including academic honoraries and activities including the Ski Club, the Red and Black Newspaper, and the Franklin Literary Society. Intramurals are really big here on campus, um, like dodgeball, we have over intercession. There's like 40 teams that go out and have a big dodgeball tournament. There's lots of grass, so uh, we play frisbee. Uh, we even play like late night flashlight tag the one night. Sled riding's fun during the winter. Do we have concerts and comedians? So there's always something to do. There are six national fraternities and four sororities with events such as Greek Week, Homecoming Weekend, and Spring Concert, all very popular on campus. 
WJ operates on a 414 academic calendar. Students take four courses in the fall and spring semesters, and just one course in the month of January. This gives them the opportunity to concentrate on their field of study, branch out into new areas, or travel with one of the many intercession trips. WJ is ranked first in the country per capita for producing lawyers and ranked third in the country for producing doctors and medical researchers. And check this out, in 2007, 100% of graduates who sat for the Pennsylvania Bar Exam passed the test, 100%. Those are some smart cookies. Think you're clever too? Want to ace your test? Washington and Jefferson College can see you through. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. Oh, and of course, Washington and Jefferson. We'll see you guys next time.